Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. Today we're in the A10C2. It is mid-April 2021. We've got a new function with regards to the Maverick. This is only used if we are not using a targeting pod to direct the Maverick. So if we're using the Maverick Seeker itself to find the target, we now have Maverick Space Stabilizer. This gives us an additional way of locking on to targets and as we will show it can also make locking on to a particular wanted target easier. First I'm going to show you what I would call the old-fashioned way of doing it, it's just the way I've always done it. I'm from a hot start here, the targets are in a known location and I'm just going to call out all the button presses I'm doing, I'm certainly no expert in this aircraft but I'm going to press unpause, check that the HUD is soy with the star and it is. Next uh, we're going to do DMS right to select my Maverick Done. Next, I'm going to select my Maverick screen on the left. Done. Next, Cooley left long to make the Maverick screen soy. Done. Next, I'm going to pause to more talking time. I'm going to use my TDC slew to move my wagon wheel here, which is where the Maverick sensor is pointing, down to the threshold of the runway where we know the baddies are. Or we could do it via using the screen here. Let's go and so we've got a non-space stabilized system at the moment. Find those targets there. You can see there that when I moved the crosshair over a target it's automatically locked onto one. I didn't actually ask it to do that but it has. And we know that because it's closed the crosshair gate here. Now for me to choose the correct vehicle that I want for roleplay purposes let's make it that guy there. Sorry that it's a little bit small. I have to now force an unlock and move the crosshair over to that guy to get him locked. It's a little bit awkward so I'm going to do that now. In fact if I just unpause just to give me time I'll just active pause it. I'm going to try and slew over hard and we've got in there more or less by fluke to be honest and we're locked onto that guy and rifle we're going to take him down and what i was really trying to point out is that there is difficulty getting that exact target that we wanted to get that time it worked out relatively easy which is typical as soon as the camera's on now let's go and show the new way of doing things starting again uh, we're going to select our maverick we're going to get our maverick screen up we're going to make it soy with coolie left long. We are not going to slew. In this case, what we're going to do now is maneuver our aircraft via the control stick so that the wagon wheel here is going to sit on the target or close to the target. I'm then going to press and hold DMS forward and hold it. And while I'm holding DMS forward, the, the crosshair of the Maverick will space stabilize in that area with DMS pushed and it's space stabilized, we can then use the TDC slew to move it onto a target, the exact one that you want, then release DMS and it will transfer through to an automatic lock on that particular target. So, unpause, move the wagon wheel onto the guys roughly. I'm gonna DMS forward and hold. I'm gonna now use the slew, space stabilized, to get on that target. I'm now gonna un press DMS and it's locked onto the target and I can go ahead and fire. Now there are some things that I've got to mention. People are going to say, why weren't you using field of view to zoom in? You, absolutely you could have, but I'm trying to make it difficult on purpose to show why this space stabilization is actually useful. And the way we consider it useful is that, again, we go back to the original method. We found it hard to lock onto a certain target, especially if there was a group of targets. With this method, you can choose easily which target you're going to lock onto, then release DMS and it will lock onto the right guy. So that's my interpretation of why this can be a use, extra useful function, RC. Is there anything that you want to add? Picking out ground vehicles is generally easy with Maverick. However, if you want to pick out a specific building in a group of buildings, your space stabilizer is going to really help you with that. If you don't have a T-Pod, that's what it's really good for. Lovely. I hope that was useful and see you later.